Let me see, bird. I finally got this market open. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, I got eight of these things so far, I guess. I hate them. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more of these things. Um. Let me see, what was I gonna look for? I was gonna look for the gold face mask, cause that's the one that I just sold, and that's kinda of the obvious example. So. I can't really show this screen, but. You could just go to the Steam Marketplace for us and just search for the. Just have to search for gold, right? Definitely gonna come up for gold, for search for gold. And, uh, so you see, I was the last guy to sold it, I think. Yeah, I sold it at 52 or something. I sold it at $52, I think that was mine. I might, nah, I think I sold, I don't know, mine might have been the 54.98, I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. But... Anyways, you see that there's a, you know, this thing's been $60 for a while, $60 a few months ago. It's never been above $60 lifetime, or, I mean, I guess it went above slightly to 70 but you can zoom out the graph, right? And basically, like, when you're looking at a basic graph like this, generally, like, w when there's not, like, you know, there's nothing really gimmicky going on. It's a pretty small market. It's a pretty basic market. Like, the skins come out, like, once a week. You can buy them, and then, like, I think you can still get them from those bags, maybe, but... I'm not exactly sure how that works, but oh, you but generally... Yeah, you can get some bags. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know which ones exactly. I don't know if they update that or, or what. It doesn't really matter, because I know it's a small percentage. Mm -hmm. You know, the overall skins sold of that thing. Um, but yeah, basically like, when you're trying to analyze one of these graphs, like you can kind of tell it's doing this because generally, or you, I mean you have to know a little bit about the skins and like what kind of ones go up and what, you know, and like what are just kind of bubbles. Like the blackout stuff was just kind of obviously like a bubble in the rest skin market because just because they, it you know compared to other black skins you know they they look pretty goofy basically like the chest plate like looks like it's made of plastic you know looks like a knockoff you know looks like someone got a halloween costume of a metal gear set and that's you know that's what it looks like the blackout set it just kind of there's way more skin so you, you kind of knew it was going to go you know it's gonna be a bubble because it's the first like all black gear set kind of. That's a full gear set. So you know a lot of people are just gonna buy it because they don't have, they can't afford like the plate carrier. They don't know about other gear sets that in the Steam Marketplace they don't look black. Like like the Loot Leader gear set is pretty much all black. Like not the road sign stuff, the road sign stuff's kind of goofy. But the pants and the hoodie and the gloves uh, and, the, and the boots even in the game, they're all black and they look way better. <laughs> they look way better than the than the than the black gear set. Um, and there's other stuff like you could tell it's a bowl because like there's uh boots in the game. Oh, um, I have them. I think they're like they're steel toe boots or something. They're like ten dollar like black boots, and they look way better than the black boots like by a huge margin. And when the black boots were like five dollars, like these boots were, were down to five dollars. And obviously it's I don't know what the black boots are now. I'm sure not five dollars, but these other boots they went back up to ten dollars. So some some things like that, you can kind of tell when something's overvalued if you just are aware of the, you know, most of the skins in the game, at least the ones that aren't super rare that you can actually like, you know, that are traded, like frequently at least. But um, you know, if you look at this graph, this gold face mask, right? You see that it's consistently making basically higher highs it peaks right it goes down it makes a low it makes a higher low right it doesn't it doesn't test the bottom and then it goes up and it makes a higher high eventually and it's just it's continuously doing that at least you know from when is this january i think of this year i don't know how old is this i have to, I have to let me see this is 
this is while we're talking about this. Number. This goes back. The last. This goes back basically. Wait. I missed some September. Um. Yeah, for pretty much the last year. Um. And that's in general, and Ruskins have just been going up in general. But it's generally just going up consistently. It's consistently making higher highs and lower lows, right? You can see that from the graph, if you zoom it out for the lifetime graph. Um, and then basically like, here, kinda, here basically like you see, J July 24th at 6 p.m. it sold for 68.86, right? Two sold. And now, uh, this is a mask where it's all gold and it's kind of unique for that. It looks good, it looks better than that goofy like, bronze shiny thing that came out like a month ago whatever that was like that doesn't really compete with this so it's a good mask and it, it there is kind of a gear set for it there's like the the samurai like kind of other gear set but i used to have those and it just doesn't look good like with 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 this mask so like this mask is kind of like it's like it worked well kind of with the gear set that i use which is like or the, some of the gear sets i have that are like just yellow but you know, it doesn't really match anything, and it's just, like, it's shiny gold, so there's no real advantage. The only reason it's, it's probably going to go up again after it goes down, but the only reason people are buying it is just they like gold. And it looks all gold. So that's the only, there's no, like, there's no advantage. There's no, like, it doesn't have a, you know, sight that glows or anything. So basically, like, it's only going up when people want to buy it, basically. When people want to spend $60 or $50 or whatever it was. Just on a skin, it's all gold just because it's, you know, they don't care gold. about money, basically. Um, because it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't match the gears or anything. It's not like, you know, it's just one of those random skins that it's just like. So you can see from the graph, right? Like I was saying, July 24, 6 p.m., two sold at 68.86. And then it went back down, right? It still made, it pretty much tested the bottom, like the low it made on July 15th like two weeks before right and it's not it didn't really go down to the, the previous bottom it really made but but then it goes back up and it tests this top again right and it doesn't it's three three of them now so it's 65 dollars so now you can kind of tell and obviously at the time if you looked at the buy sell orders there are probably a lot more sell orders than normal that came on the market around this time with people wanting to sell theirs close to 70 dollars basically so what happened and what you see from the graph is it, it just went down again and it basically it keeps doing this thing where it goes up people are realizing that it's kind of overpriced dude shaggy man like this is why you had no friends man this is why you're on every day just with a bone knife with a rock just over and over again just not making any progress no, in the game you like, you? like come on shaggy like you just mic spam like no you just mic spam for no reason uh. I mean, this, this guy's in high school. Like, he's not a freshman in high school. This guy's like... I don't know exactly, but I mean, he, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it's like he needs a babysitter. I mean, he's shaggy, man. You actually need a babysitter. When you're in high school. I mean, you should not need a babysitter when you're in high school. You should be working as a babysitter part-time when you're in high school. Babysitting, like, little kids. Like, you shouldn't require a babysitter. Like, you should know, man, something's wrong, Shaggy. You already, I mean, you obviously know. You have to know, man. <laughs> you have to know. Um. Yeah, I'll look at, I'll look at that, that shard of true ice thing next. But, um, let me finish what I was saying here. It's basically, basically this thing, like, so it, it, it consolidated a little bit, right, with a lot of people trying to sell. And it went down. It's consolidating, right? And then it bounces up, right? And it, it tries to test the july 24th top right it kind of does it basically it basically reaches that top it goes a little higher but it's basically the same thing in the market this small it's not really a, a new high and basically what it, what it looks like here is it looks like a double top on september 1st at 6 p.m when three of them sell for 70 dollars it looks like it's gonna go up to 70 dollars and a bunch are gonna flood the market and people are just willing to sell this thing at 70 dollars people to have it so it's probably, you know, it's, you can never know for certain what's going to happen with stuff like this. But if you understand the market a little bit, like, you can probably predict that it's probably going to not go above $70. It's probably just going to go down from here. 
So because it's not going to keep going up, like in any market, there's a lot of people that they just buy stuff just because it's going up. Like that's what the average person does. Like they're not really thinking about what its true value is. They're not really comparing it to similar stuff in the marketplace. They just see something going up and they just want to buy it and kind of ride the train basically. It's what happened with Bitcoin basically, which is still a bubble. Like I, I'm still surprised it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm still surprised that it's, uh, it's worth anything, but, but yeah, you can tell that like, this is probably gonna go down there and it did go down. And then if you go to the month, cause it's more short term now, you can see it's basically, it's, it keeps trying to test 65 and it, people keep selling it and it's basically trending downward. You know, it's making lower highs and it's making basically lower lows. So you know it's on a downtrend, it probably peaked at 70. You know, it's probably gonna go down, it's probably gonna consolidate. Like the, obviously, it's, I don't know why one sold at 28. You have this random stuff, like in these small markets where like someone, you know, who knows what's going on there. But basically you can look at the graph and you can see that it's got decent support around $45. You know, see, every time it's tested it, um, you know, in the last, you know, six months, pretty much, since it's been there, you know, it's bounced off 40, 40, 42, $45, roughly. It's just bounced off it. So, like, this thing, like, I expect it to go down probably to around $45, and then it'll probably go back up to where it was, you know, on this other line of the graph to around, like, you know, whatever, $55, kind of. It'll just stabilize. You know, because it's one of those skins that's always going to have value because it's unique, it's all gold, and it's something that, like, people that have a lot of money when they're buying skins, they're just going to buy that one. So it always has a certain level of support. And it always just has value just because of that. It doesn't have to, it, like, it's not a skin that has value because it matches a gear set or something. Like, it's kind of rare, but it's not that rare. Like, you can see by this buy and sell orders. Are you talking about the Shadows 2 Ice? No, I'm talking about the Legendary Gold Face Mask. Because I sold it to buy Hazmats, and I was just explaining why I sold this one. Because it looked like it's kind of close to the top. You know, so I kind of, so I just sold it, basically. And now, when I sold it, right, the buy orders were all at $59. This was just two days ago, when I put this on the market. The buy orders were all $59, and I listed it for, like, $57.99. And then someone, like, kind of went lower you went to like 56.99 and then today i sold it for like 53.99 i like undercut them to 53.99 something like that and i sold today and now if you look at the buy and sell orders there's there's one 53.91 there's one 55 there's another 55 there's one 57 there's one 59 so like it's probably just gonna go straight down to where this where the buyers are at at 44.93 there's there's a decent amount of buyers it's not too many right there's one mm -hmm. two three four there's six people pretty much willing to buy this thing at $45. And then, you know, it's a small market. You know, there's probably not a lot of random people that are just going to jump in once those things, you know, are bought at $45. Like, there's going to be some, you know, like, but below that, like, you don't get to buy and sell orders. And oh, I think I have to zoom out or something. Uh, I kind of messed up this graph. I should reload this page. But, you, I mean, if you, you could probably look at the buy and sell orders. There's probably not too many, like, once it goes below 42, just because, you know, it goes 44.55, and then there's 42.98 or less. And I'm trying to go, yeah, here we can see. So 42.98, so there's, uh, there's basically 10 buyers for this thing, 42 or higher. So that's the support, basically. And then, uh, shh, I keep screwing up this graph, I don't know. I had to reload this again. Okay, and then there's 40, there's basically 30 buy orders at $40 or higher. So that's where the support is because there's a, uh, whatever, there's 26 for sale. And you know, basically that's where the support is because this is like, these people, it, it's trending down. They're not gonna all of a sudden start offering $49 for these things when they see that it's trending down. Like just in a few days or the last couple weeks, they've been paying attention. 
So like the only ones that are gonna get sold at the full price now are people that randomly, you know, just wanna buy one. They just come in, they just wanna buy one. Like that's, or they see it lower and they think, okay, it was $65 or $70 like a couple months ago. And they think when they see mine for $54.99 or whatever, they think, oh, it's $15 cheaper. Like it's just gonna, be, like they're not really thinking about the graph, about the buying sellers, about the support, about like what the graph looks like. I'm not thinking about that. Like no one, <laughs> I don't think anyone in this market is really thinking about that. So, I mean, that's why I sold this. And you want me to look at the legendary ice shard thing? Let me go search that thing. Um, or the shard of true ice. Um, just looking at the graph and just from what I know about this rock and just from looking at this rock, like, I think it's, I think it's a bubble basically. I think it probably already peaked at $45. It's probably not going to go back there. Like, um, uh, just, you can see, you see from the graph, right? Let me see how, let me see how many years this goes back. Because sometimes, you know, they go back all the years and it's not that obvious, but let me check. Yeah, we're dropped to one dollar. That's just an anomaly. I'll just completely ignore that because it's just like someone maybe was trying to transfer it to a different account. You know, or someone just made a mistake. You know, in a small market, like you gotta ignore kind of the goofy anomalies because they're just not they're not relevant to the overall market because the sample size is smaller than usual. So some of these things you just have to ignore them. Dude, and you kind of have to I estimate saw... just based on what you know about the market because it's a small sample size for the graph basically. So with this rock, like. It started going up, like, when most skins started going up for us, like, a year ago, basically, last September, around then. You can see it, like, consolidated a lot at, like, there's a lot of support for this thing at, at basically $20, even going back before then. Like, it was testing $20, it was going down to $16, this is, like, a few years ago. Um, so then here, it consolidated a lot in September, like, to November, I guess that winter. Where it was basically going between 20 you know and 25 dollars like that was just a window it's trading and then it started to spike obviously you know i guess the start of this year in january it just spiked straight up to 40 dollars 45 dollars it basically just doubled and then obviously that it went up way too fast so like there's not like if something goes up that fast like it went up it looks like in a month or something 20 dollars like it's just it's just not gonna just stay I mean, it can keep going up, but eventually it's just like, it's just markets don't work like that. It's just like some people don't own it. Like if it spikes, they're going to just sell it because now it's like double what it was a week ago. And that takes time to happen. Like people don't notice initially. So that's why you have these big spikes sometimes because especially in a small market like this, you know, you have some skins, right? Where there's only four for sale. And if a, someone, a few people just think it looks good and they just buy it, all of a sudden there's only one for sale. And now like that guy, he makes the price, you know, $100. And then maybe someone buys it, <laughs> you know, and then someone else comes out and they list theirs for $9 and a few people buy it. And then all of a sudden, like some people log in, they're like, what? This skin goes for $90 now? And they just sell it. And like a bunch of people realize it after like a week or two. And then all of a sudden there's 20 of these things on the market and the price goes way back down to what it was, you know, originally basically, or even lower than that. Cause now all these people woke up and now this item that was just out of circulation is now on the market. Cause these people are trying to sell it for, you know, the big spike basically. Mm. And that happens a lot in this market. It's a very small market and people are not always checking their skins every day. Like most people aren't doing that. Like in a normal stock market or any market, like any normal, like, you know, trading market in the world, like, like most people that are actively trading are trying to make money in it. So they're paying attention every single day. And like a lot of them, like, I mean, most of them obviously are bots and like most of them are not successful doing that, but they're all trying to do that basically. 
Like they're all logging in every day. You know, they got the Steam Marketplace and they got a whole bunch of other programs. They have a whole bunch of graphs that have like feeds, you know, different like CNBC of different things, of different websites, of different, you know, it depends on what the person, you know, it, it depends on, you know, it's obviously, it's not standard what anyone's doing, basically, but, you know, there's a lot of bots, basically, you know, there's people that have, you know, graphs, there's people that actually, they program basically bots when they know something is trading within a certain range, and they program the bot to just buy at this range, sell it, sell at this amount, and there's literally a bunch of bots in the market just do that. Like in the Forex market, like you can't really beat the Forex market because the Forex market, it's so like consistent because it's just based on, you know, international like, you know, flows of different currencies, you know, in and out of different countries, you know, which is pretty, pretty small range that that trades in, you know, in general, obviously there's, there's, there's variance in it like throughout the year, but compared to other markets, like currencies are pretty stable. So like there's there's literally there's a whole bunch of bots that'll just buy and sell the range that the currency is trading in like automatically, but you know obviously those sort of things are not in the in the skin market in the steam marketplace the, the, those things are not there, um, but yeah this thing like so it goes up to forty five right so then it goes crashes back down, it's trading thirty five to thirty basically it's consolidating here like people are still trying to sell theirs at thirty five dollars or ten fifteen dollars when it was. You know, they're selling it. Some people are buying it at $30. They think it's like it went up for good reason. They're trying to buy it at $30. And then like, you know, there's a short at some point goes back up to $45. But then it's a double top. It's obviously a double top here. Like this is the most, this is a very obvious double top from like January 14th, 5 p.m. and February 22nd, 5 p.m. on the lifetime graph. Like it's the most obvious thing ever. It's obviously gonna crash. Like it went up way too fast. Like it's just a rock. Like, they come out with rock skins, like, every other week. And, like, look at this rock. It's blue. It looks like ice. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I remember I talked to you guys about this before, and I was like, if that rock was in a Steam store this week, I wouldn't even buy it. I wouldn't even think about buying it. It just looks like a standard rock. There's nothing really special about it. Like, obviously, it's rare. And that's why, you know, the price is higher than the average rock. It's rare, but... This is something I think is just going to go down over time when better rocks are released into the market and when people all become aware of the better rocks that are already in the marketplace. So I like, there's a double top, obviously it went down, it crashed back down 33. And then you see it did a ton of consolidating, you know, at, at this range, $30 to whatever, $25. People are still trying to sell theirs. People are still trying to buy it at like $25. So there's a lot of support here at around like, I don't know, we'll call it like $28. You gotta estimate from these graphs because you don't have a lot of volume in this. But around $28, there seems like a lot of people willing to buy it. And then, you know, it just in June, this is very recent. Like, you know, it spikes up again, kind of. It tests the top again on July 10th. You know, three are sold at $47. And then, you know, it just goes back down again. Like too many people are, want, are willing to sell it at that. So it's just... It goes back down again. Look at it. it makes a lower high. That's not a good sign. It's never a good sign when it makes a high and it makes a lower high. That usually means it already peaked. And now you want to just sell this thing as fast as you can because it's going to crash. And uh, you see it's going down and it's consistently making lower highs since then. Like it's testing 45 a little bit, but not really. Like 43, like it tested and just goes... That was September 27th, and now it's crashed and once sold at $31, so it's consolidating back there. I would imagine, like, like maybe if it's 32, let me see what the buy orders are. Yeah, so there's people trying to sell it at $42 and $44, basically, the sell orders, right? I mean, the, yeah, the sell orders. And people want to buy it at basically $33, $32, and well, let me see, 32 or less. Let me look at the actual orders. Um, so there's 25 buyers out of around that support level at like $28. There's 25 people willing that already have orders. But above that, there's not really any buy orders really above the ones listed. There's not really much demand for this thing. Um... You know, so even though it has 452 requests to buy, like most of those requests to buy are not real requests to buy because the price these people want 
Like they want to buy it at, you know, twelve dollars or something. There, they just want to buy it at prices that's just not realistic. So you can just kind of ignore a lot of those buy orders. And when you do that, like there's twenty four sell orders, and it's just not. You know that a bunch are going to come on the market if it ever goes up to like forty five dollars again. So like. Where it is now, like, I have to zoom in the graph because the lifetime's too... I'll go to the monthly graph now. And you can see it's just... It's consistently trying to test 40 whatever, $3, $42. It's consistently going down after it goes there. And now, you see recently, it sold at $42 or whatever. I think it's just a good time to sell this thing. Because I don't think... Yeah, I think it's just going to go down, man. Like... You look at the weekly graph, it's peaking on the weekly graph. Like, now is actually a good time to get rid of this thing. Because it's probably just going to go down from here. And the buy orders, I mean, the sell orders right now, based on the graph, they're very unrealistic what these people want for this thing. So, like, that's what I thought. That's why I sold the Legendary Gold Face Mask. Like, it was $60, basically. It was the lowest buy order, $59. And I sold the thing for $54. And I was going to keep lowering it pretty much until it was, like, $49. And I was going to, you know, if it... People kept matching me or going down. I was probably gonna stop there, but you know this thing. Like I, I, I would try to sell it for like thirty eight dollars and hope someone buys it. Like thirty eight ninety nine. Hope someone just buys it because I just don't like long term. Like when I look at this thing, like I think it's gonna go back down to like probably thirty dollars, and then it's probably gonna go back down again. So like this level where there's a lot of support at twenty dollars, it's probably gonna stay there for a while, and then I think it's gonna keep going down because it just because of the way the skin looks, it's not like a unique looking skin to me. Like I, I I've seen like pretty much all the rust skins, I've seen like all the rock skins, and I look at this and I'm like, why do I want to buy this thing? It just looks like a piece of ice. It's just like like the rocks I have right. I got a watermelon. Like that's not that special. I don't expect it to be worth anything. I bought it because it's a fruit, right? Like, this turkey rock, I think it's way better than the Shard of Ice. Like, obviously, there's more of them on the market. So that's, you know, that's why it's only $7 or whatever. But over time, like, actually, there's only 33 for sale. And there's only 81 requests for buy. So I think, like, just a lot of people just don't know about this turkey rock. So I think that, I mean, let's look at the graph of the turkey rock. And so we look at the graph for the turkey rock, and it's actually a very good time to buy this thing. Like, I haven't looked at this graph, like, until, like... I mean, I probably looked at it before, but, you know, obviously that was a while ago. You know, we see around the same time, these other things start going up September. This was consolidating around, it was already, it's already been $7 for a while. Like, this thing's been $7 since, it's had a lot of support around there since, let's see, December. Let me see how many years ago this is. That's one year. That's two years. So basically for three years. This thing is pretty solid support around six or seven dollars. It's never really gonna go below that unless the rest of the general just crash. That's too much support. And then you see it's gone up. It peaked at one point at fifteen dollars. It went up obviously way too fast. It's obviously gonna go down. And that was when it's on an uptrend, right? It went down. Um and then you see like it's kinda of going up occasionally. To like ten, twelve dollars, like nine, eight, nine dollars maybe I guess mainly. And then it's, it's going back down, and I kind of messed up this graph, I gotta refresh it. Wayne, man, you need to put on push to talk. I'm sorry. I don't even know, how does it not even let you, how does it even let you talk when you don't push your talk on? I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, I pushed him from you. Well, you got, you shouldn't you do to use that, man. You should just use push to talk. But anyways, so like, back to this graph, like, it's, it tested, like, you know, these, these highs, obviously it just went down, but, you know, it has a lot of, it's trending upwards when you kind of, kind of, if you were to draw a line, like, what would you do if you had a program, like, you know, you can do it on this, but maybe you can. Yeah, you kind of can, but can't really, I don't know, man. I just messed up the graph. I shouldn't have done that. Boom. But basically, like, you can see it's going down now. And it's on a downtrend, right? You know, you know, it's since December 28th when it was $12. It's just gone straight down. Like, people are selling it. Just 
It's all the way down. It was selling at five dollars like yesterday it sold. So like that's like way underpriced compared to what it's at historically. Like the graph looks like it's going down to this level where there's a ton of support over years, right? This level at five dollars. Uh, like let's look at the monthly graph. It's basically selling five dollars. It's selling at five dollars, then it's bouncing back to seven dollars, then it's bouncing down to five dollars. And you can buy this thing now. I guess it's only for sale at six seventy. But basically, what that means is people are selling. Like like you can put a buy order right for four ninety nine. There's a decent chance it, it's going to get fulfilled. Basically, you know, in the next whatever week or two, week probably. Just just based on the way you know the range is is going. But it's also testing the bottom now of five dollars, which has so much support. So, like, the only reason it's not going to bounce off the bottom and test the high again and test, like, $12 again or $10, $9, the only reason it's not going to do that, because when it, when it bottoms like this and this one's consolidation, like, when it goes up, it's going to go and trend and make a new line up that's, like, a gradual line up because there's so much consolidation. So there's so much support. So it's never going to go below $5, basically, unless there's something wrong with the skin like a new skin came out that made this skin obsolete or something like that. But this skin, right, it's just a turkey, a frozen turkey that looks pretty realistic. It says turkey on it. Like, there's nothing wrong with the skin. It's a very unique rock skin, right? So there's no reason for it to go down. You know, so the only reason it's going down is whatever. People are selling skins for whatever reason. Like, I don't know. Like, Counter-Strike came out with a thing. I think that you could buy, like, a new box. Maybe some people sold skins because of that. Like, in the last couple months, I don't know. Like, obviously, you know, there's lockdown. Like, people are not making money. Some people are not allowed to work. Maybe they're selling some of their skins. And this is maybe just, you know, it's just... You can kind of tell it's at the bottom right now. So, like, I don't know. If I had extra money in my Steam account or something and that hazmat wasn't for sale, like, I'd probably put a bunch of buy orders at, like, I don't know, like, 485 and see if some of these people just sold it to me. Because, like, I'd probably be able to accumulate a few of them. And then it's probably going to test $10 again in the next several months. And I could sell it around there. Um, But this is a skin, like, I don't really want to sell it. Because I think eventually it's just going to go up. Because it's just so unique. And it's not that, it's not that, like, there's probably more than 33, obviously. Like, if it goes up, the more will come on the market. But there's only 33 for sale and when it's at a relatively low price. So just what that tells me, obviously you can't really know the supply of these things because I don't think that information is even public. It, it might be somewhere, but you know, it's probably not. So like it's just probably almost as unique as that Shard of True Ice. Obviously the Shard of True Ice is gonna be more unique, but there's only 33 of these things for sale. And there's only there's 26 or whatever the shard things. And obviously like if this goes up to the same price, more people are gonna be wanting to sell it, but like, how many, is, is there really going to be, like, a hundred more of these things that just pop out of nowhere? Like, over the time, it goes up to $40, yeah, but, like, you know, the sell, I mean, the buy, like, the sell orders for this thing is probably never going to be over 50, like, like, at any given time. So, it's, it's one of those things that doesn't have a high supply compared to, like, you know, stuff like the Blackout, where there's, like, literally thousands. Like, let's look at the Blackout kill. Right. Now this thing... Let's see. Like, there's 500 for sale. And a thousand quest to buy. And obviously a lot of quest to buy are not real because, you know, they, people wanted to buy the thing at 5 cents. So like, that doesn't really count. Or 52 cents here. Like, there's a hundreds of these. Like, so there's 600 of these buyers, 50 cents or higher. Like, what is this? 500 buy orders are, or 400 are a dollar higher. So, of these thousand requests to buy, 600 of them are below a dollar. So, they're basically just like trolls. Like, they're not actually trying to buy it. They're just a quick quest to buy you can just ignore. They're just like noise. So, like, this thing is probably just going to go down because there's just too many. The requests to buy are not real. Like, people are only willing to spend $3 for this thing right now, or two ninety, and then it kind of just goes down. It's it does, It's not like it's 3, 307, then 306, then 305, 304, like some competitive skin like that. Like, someone wants to buy a 307, then someone wants to buy a 291, then 290, then the next guy, he only wants to buy a 284. 
and then it goes and granted there's a few of these orders each but this is not a healthy market like like i think it's a good skin because it's all black and it's clean but and there's not that many there's really not any other black skins in the game right now but that's obviously going to change over time like, there's going to be more black skins over time so like And you can see this graph, like, it looks pretty goofy. It's just a massive consolidation at, like, $4, basically. It's just, like, it looks like this thing is never really going to go above $4. I probably might. Let me see how many I have. Like, I need one just to have a black kill, but other than that, I'll probably sell any extra ones I have right now. Um, let me see if I even have an extra one. I'm not sure. But, like, that's how I kind of gauge whether... So, yeah, I don't even have an extra one or I sell it, but that's how kind of how I gauge in this market where it's a very small market There's very low volume And you can kind of look at the graph and you kind of see where the skin's going once you just look at the skin and see if it has Like obviously there's all those skins with glow sites um And yeah, if you look at my my skins are public if you look at them like I have a bunch Of a lot of these skins that have glow sites that are I think are relatively underpriced. They're not well known skins like i never see these skins i never find these skins like um like examples would be like you know the frostfire pump that has a glow site like the polymer pump has a glow site and it goes for like 25 dollars it was going up it might be 30 dollars now but this other pump it's the only pump in the game with a glow site and it's a nice looking pump it's like a, it's a skin for the snow it's like blue and like icy looking, it's a, it's a good pump with a glow site for the snow. And the polymer is obviously good for the desert. It looks nicer, obviously. The polymer is better skin, but it's not that much better. Like if the polymer is thirty dollars or it's trending up to thirty dollars, I, I haven't looked at the graph. Like I don't have that market. I don't have Steam Market price up right now. So I just remember it was like twenty five, thirty dollars. It's kind of trending up. This Frostfire thing was like around five dollars. It was kind of trading in the range of like four fifty to five fifty, kind of. The last time I looked at Thing. so like i think it's undervalued like i think it's just eventually people are gonna realize oh there's this other pump it's only five dollars that's a glow site too like it's just gonna go up to like fifteen dollars or twenty dollars it's always gonna be less than the polymer one because the polymer one's just nicer in general but it's way undervalued and it's the same as like a p2 it's called like the lcd marine like sidearm or something it's like a semi-auto pistol and it it's the, it has a glow site and people don't even realize that's a glow site, but it has, it has one. You know, and like, um, people obviously know about, like, obviously Polymer Bolt and Glory Bolt now. They're not really underpriced anymore. Like, uh, let me see. There's some other ones that might be underpriced. Like the, uh, the Damon Strike LR, I think. When I looked at the graph the last time, I thought it was going to go down. And then I was going to try to buy a lot of them when it went down to a certain point. And I, I'll go look at the graph right now because I'm curious what happened uh, in the last two months. Because I thought it was going to go down when I, when I looked at it two months ago. Let me see. So the damage strike LR is 1497 now. Let me see. And yeah, the buy orders are still like down at 1250. And I think, let me see the graph. So yeah, like obviously I thought like when it was $20, obviously that was just, that was just a spike. Like people kind of realized I had a glow site that actually looks really good. Um, So there's a lot of people just overpaying for it at that point, like two, three months ago. So that drove the price kind of up kind of too high because there is a lot of these came on the market i remember there was like maybe 10 on the market and then all of a sudden there's 50 when the price went up so it was kind of not sustainable there but at 15 dollars i mean i think it's one of the best lrs like the polymer lr is always more expensive but it's you know it doesn't have a glow site you know i think it's one of the best lrs it looks it looks very nice like it's very clean there's nothing wrong with the way the artwork the way it looks like you can't really complain about anything and it has a glow site so like eventually i think it's going to go up a lot but but you see it like it, it obviously it's going to go down at peak but at whatever like 28 dollars it was obviously going to go down 
you know, it went down. Basically, I thought it was gonna go down. I thought I, I wanted to buy more like around twelve dollars, and that's kind of where you can have buy orders now. But it, like, obviously, went down to like twelve something, and, and you can see from the graph, right? And this is what you kind of look for when someone's gonna kind of spike upwards. Is you just have a lot of consolidation. It keeps it keeps testing the bottom, whatever that is, the most recent low, and it keeps bouncing off of it almost immediately and kind of just going up. And then going down, testing the bottom, just bouncing up, and there's a lot more kind of activity towards the top of that range. I mean, towards like, you know, it's never really dropping below. There's always all this support, basically. And this goes back, you can look at it back a year, basically. It, it peaked at, uh, let me see. You know, like a year ago, it, it, it had a run up. You know, it's done this multiple times. It's gone up to like $15, $20, and then it's crashed back down. And then this time it went up even higher to like $30. But you see the overall trend is going up. Like if you draw a line, you know, in general, like you, you kind of wouldn't want to draw a line on the bottom and line on the top. But these graphs, there's very low volume, so you kind of have to just guesstimate. But you can just tell from looking at it, it's trending upwards. Like it's making these big peaks. It's going down to a lower low. I mean, to a lower low base. I mean, to a lower... It's going to a, a higher low than it was before, basically. Every time it, 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 it's, you know, it's, it, every time it spikes upwards, basically. And now towards the graph now, there's just a lot of consolidation. Like, it's probably not going to go below $12, like, probably ever. So it's going up already towards $15 again. You can see there's a lot of, kind of, there's a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of... You know, it's not really going down to $12 anymore. It's going down to $13. People are buying it. It's going up to $15. There's some people selling it, but... Like, this thing, I think the new support, just looking at the, the lifetime graph, I think the new support is going to be $15, basically. Like, you can see, that's where it peaked. That's kind of where it peaked before. You can see, you can draw a horizontal line there, and that's kind of probably the new support. You know, right here, it's at $16, one sold yesterday or today september 30th that was recent i don't know when that was probably it's the next month okay yeah so that was like a week ago okay but um you know i think this thing is probably gonna go back down you probably got a chance to buy it like 13 dollars 13 50 you could probably buy several of these things still and then it's probably going to go up and it's going to make a new high and it's just going to trend upwards because it's it's a nice looking site. It's an LR. People use LRs a lot and it's got a glow site. I think it's the only LR with a glow site. And it's relatively un... It's, it's not as known. Like generally people don't know that this, this skin has a glow site on average. And it's kind of like the glorious AK. It's similar. People don't realize it has a glow site. But people realized somewhat recently and it went up a bit. Um, let me see. This is now like $19. So now it's like, it's probably not. Yeah, this is another thing. Like, I would buy this thing now. Like, not at $19. But at like, I would try to accumulate it at $15. If I had extra stuff. Or like, what people are trying to buy that now, basically. fourteen fifty two. You can see from these different kind of buy and sell orders. Like, there's five buyers at 1452, which is the highest, you know, price. And, you know, then there's two at 1446, you know, so there, and then there's five at 1411. So there's basically 12 buy orders at pretty much 1450. They're all pretty much the same. Like at, at kind of the top, there's like 12 people, there's 12 buy orders. You know, and there's only 20 for sale, like on the market right now. So I think this is probably about to go, it's probably about to jump up. And start trading around like a higher range where it goes down to fifteen dollars and sells up to twenty and tries to probably consolidates in that channel, you know, until it eventually goes up and becomes like whatever thirty, forty dollars skin you don't really know because you can never really know the supply, you know, until it starts going up. Um, but yeah, this glorious AK is another skin. It looks really nice. Like I bought this skin, like when I first got Rust, like. Like six months into it, when I was a big noob, like I bought some skins, and this was one. Of, this was the AK skin I bought. I only bought like one or two AK skins, and because I never used AK back then, this was the one I bought just because it looked nice, and I didn't know that a glow sight. And eventually, I sold it. Like I sold it like a year and a half ago. 
Because it was up at like, I don't know, like, I think it was up at like $12. And that was like, I knew that was higher than it had been, but I had no idea it had a glow sight. <laughs> like, and this was just recently. So I think a lot of people don't realize that. I mean, people know now just because it's, I don't know exactly when people realize, but somewhat recently people realize a lot of these guns have glow sights and some of them start going up, but. Um, yeah. Let me see if there's more questions. Obviously, Shaggy Turtle's been spamming. Oh. Nice. Kobe broke Shag's bags. Nice. Oh, and what's up, Rip Blue? I'm like pretty behind on these comments, so I just saw that. And this is more spam from Shaggy, of course. So now Shaggy's just arguing with this other guy, obviously, just. Shaggy. And then Rusty Pot. When I'm like paying a lot of attention to this skin market and I'm looking at the prices and the fluctuations every day, then I use Rusty Pot sometimes just because skins are often mispriced on there relative to Steam market. So you can kind of beat the VIG if you're just, you know, betting skins that are overpriced on Rusty Pot relative to Steam Marketplace against skins that are underpriced, you know, on Rusty Pot relative to Steam Marketplace. but. But yeah, man, I'm getting tired. This is just not ideal. This fur is definitely not ideal. Yeah, because I really want to try to stay awake build like Shaggy's probably gonna go to sleep soon and then like there's gonna be no one we know one here that's a problem <laughs> so uh let's see I oh, don't know man I oh, don't know I'm uh I'm gonna walk around for like 10 minutes probably and try to kind of wake back up because yeah I was talking I was probably you know knowing me I was probably talking about that for like an hour <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll crap more doors. Yeah, I mean, people always tell me in my Discord channel, like, to ask me some questions or something, and I just talk for like so long, but I don't know. It's just like, this stuff is kind of, it's not that simple to explain, and like, I could just do like a very like short thing, but then like probably a lot of people just wouldn't get anything out of it, so. I don't know, maybe I'm wasting time now by talking about it for so much, but I don't know. I guess I, I didn't need that many examples. I probably could have just used two or maybe three examples, and I used like four examples maybe, that was probably too many. I was probably just good with two examples, just the face mask and the shard, and I probably should have just stopped there, but... I don't know, I, I, I hadn't looked at the market, I used to check it every single day, because I was... Like, you can actually make a decent amount of money on, not a decent amount of money, but... 
you can consistently beat the VIG unless they changed it. But Rusty Paw, like the week after skins came out, for whatever reason, a lot of the skins that just came out, they would be the same price regardless of what they did in the Steam Marketplace. They would still be the same price they were in the Steam item shop. So like stuff would just spike up because this is a good skin. It just spikes up to like it was one fifty three dollars now, but you can still the, it's some guy puts it up for a flip on Rusty Pot. It's still one fifty on Rusty Pot. So you're basically getting you're getting free money. You know as long as you're not flipping a skin that also has that big a you know mis mispricing. But like that's the main benefit I think to those flipping sites. But yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be back, man.